Might have overdone it a bit, but. Hello, and welcome to my wintry kitchen. I've got a really fab recipe for you today. It's really delicious, but also it's a showstopper because it looks amazing. And I'm going to call it a winter pie. You could make any type of filling you wanted, but it's more about the topping. So I'm going to show you how to do an amazing wow factor mashed potato topping on this pie dish. So, oh, <coughs> bit loud. In my pie dish, I've got um, really lovely um, lentil sort of shepherd's pie mixture. If you want the recipe for that, that's down there, or you can just do any one you like. So I've just got some mashed potato here that I've already made, still nice and warm. So I'm going to a little bit for my leaf detail. A little bit more for my rose detail. So this isn't really Christmassy as such, it's more of a kind of nice festive pie for the holiday season. I'm going to be using some food colouring to colour up my mashed potato. So it's not the normal sort of thing you'd do, you'd normally just with icing, but we're going to be rebels. Look at that. Oh, that's bright. Might have overdone it a bit, but and I'm going to colour this one green. Oh, lost my green. The next thing you need, I've got, I found, I've got these, is you need two plastic piping bags with some um, special nozzles. This one's a large open star nozzle, um, it's a 1M. You can use a leaf nozzle, a large one, or you can just cut a V in your piping bag. I'm, I've got one, so I'm going to use it. So I'm going to load up my bag. Just squeeze that down there and that's ready to go. This is a really nice one to do as well because I make this quite a lot. Um, it's really nice, it's obviously vegetarian, meat free, but you can also do it by using a vegan mash or a regular mash and I do that quite a lot. I'm not going to use try and pipe the whole amount because you'll find it difficult to control. So when I'm doing this I always have a little bit, bit of space there so I kind of give it a twist and I work with my piping bag like that because then you find it's much easier to control and you're going to get it neater. So, I am going to use this star nozzle, so they, you can use these in lots of different ways. You can either go outside and then inwards for a whipped topping, or you can do a, a rose piping which you start in the middle and then wrap around the centre. And that's what I'm going to do on my pie. Just begin piping, just randomly all over your pie. So you can just do different sizes, it doesn't really matter if you've got any gaps. So we're going to fill the gaps anyway in a minute. So with the leaf filling, I'm going to squeeze in between all the gaps just to kind of create my rose effects. The best way you can um, use this is just like squeeze and then just keep it quite still at the base and then just sort of wiggle it and put it away. So just squeeze and pull away. Wow, they look amazing. Look at that. There we go. So I reckon that's it. Less is more. So there you go. Look at that. That is brilliant. So I'm going to pop that in the oven and I'm going to just top my second one with another kind of bun version. So I'll just pop this in. So this is a pastry version. I've got a little bit of plain flour. So all butter puff pastries, you can buy quite good quality ones in the shop. Not sure if my rolling pin is big enough. So I'm just going to roll this out. A bit of plain flour. I reckon that's about right. I'm going to place this onto my pie dish over there. Shallow round pie dish. I'm just going to pop that on. Just going to cut the excess away, which I'm going to keep for my decoration. There we go. I'm just going to sort of press that so it seals against the edge. Okay, so I'm just going to roll them out a little bit thinner. Looks like a tooth. Right, so I've got one of these um, pretty nifty little plunger cutters. And I think, yeah, I think that's the size I'm going to use. So these are really good because I can just cut out my shape. And then you kind of press it against the surface and you get you get a bit of an impression. So I'm also going to do a few little circles because I'm going to do some berries. Okay, so now I am just going to egg wash all over the top of the pie. Now I'm going to be all creative and add my holly leaves just around the edge. And I'm kind of going to just sort of lay them kind of in a crisscross pattern all the way around. So you've got a nice kind of circular holly 
wreath action. Now I'm going to add um, a bit more egg wash to those leaves. I've got some luster dust, which I use a lot. You've probably noticed if you watch my vids. Got a bit of green and a bit of red. This will kind of stay quite a strong colour when I bake the pastry. Brush it on and the egg wash is going to allow the green colouring to stick. I think I might need one extra there just to kind of shans the directione a bit because it's just clashing for my... I'm going to put one more on. You don't have to do a whole thing around it. You just do like a nice kind of thing in the middle. Actually, talking in the middle, I'm just going to sort of biff a bit of a hole in there so I don't get any explosions. So then I've got my little circles I did earlier and I'm just going to place them on just like in groups of three. Yeah, a bit of egg wash. Baking. let's hope it comes out I think I'm sure it will I'm gonna pop that in again probably be about sort of 30 minutes ish just so it's all nice and crispy and done hopefully they'll be ready very soon that'll be delicious oh they're looking good I don't know which one's my favorite so here is our burning mashed potato look at him Wow, that's so cool. Look at that. Well, nice and crunchy and it still kept its colour. And these are really lovely little crispy leaves now. I'm really happy with this one. Look at this. Oh, so pretty. It's, too, it's almost too pretty to eat. It's probably a bit hot at the moment, but Dad, Lola, come and have a try. Come and have a taste. Amazing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And everything you need to do that is down there. And I'll see you soon.